That's the sound of a newborn baby peregrine falcon. Healthy, robust, and yes, very noisy. And look at the uh, the feathers are just starting to come in. But to Tom French of the State Division of Fisheries and Wildlife, that relentless chorus is the sound of success. We had no peregrines left in Massachusetts. That was our last chick was born on Monument Mountain in 1955 in the Berkshires. But 18 stories high on top of a dorm at UMass Lowell, a family of peregrines is flourishing. One of an estimated 30 nesting pairs now in the state. So this is 89 over BS. Three new chicks about a month old here were banded with individual identification numbers so they can be tracked and monitored. When the state's endangered species program was launched in 1984, the first project was the restoration of peregrine falcons. Now the focus is on 300 plants and animals across the state that are endangered, like the northern red-bellied cooter, also known as a turtle. And the males actually develop a, almost like a coral red pattern. A lot of the older males, the females tend to retain these stripes. These turtles were on the brink of extinction in Massachusetts, only about 300 left in the state before a head starting program was put in place. This means they're bred in captivity and only released after they're healthy adults. We've stabilized the situation. As of today, about 4,000 have gone out. Um, we know from recent work that the survivorship rate is very high. Uh, 2,000 grams exactly. State herpetologist Michael T. Jones periodically checks on turtles that were previously released. Each one has an implanted microchip. This will allow researchers in the future to confidently say which animal it is, where we saw it during this study, and those tags should be good for many decades. There are other success stories, like bald eagles, which were gone from the Massachusetts landscape. Now there are approximately 40 nesting pairs. The piping plover is also seeing a resurgence after beaches with nesting areas were put off limits to people. They don't grow during the winter. Jonathan Regison is chief of conservation science for the state. He says an environment where animals thrive is a good sign for all living things. A lot's been said about how um, every species has a role in our ecosystem, and it's certainly um, true that when we start to remove species or species disappear from these ecosystems, the whole ecosystem um, can sometimes be affected negatively and, and, and fall apart. For this release, 150 turtles were given a new home in this Hanson Pond, a chance for nature lovers of all ages to experience the joys of the environment up close. Getting the opportunity to do something like what we're here today to do is, is, is terrific.